The humanoid robot race is heating up and America's top contenders are going all in. A revolution is brewing, not in Silicon Valley startups or electric vehicles, but in humanoid robots. And this time, it's not about prototypes in labs or viral stunt videos. It's about full-scale production, real-world deployment, and a trillion-dollar shift in how labor is done. Forget chat GPT, forget self-driving cars. The next industrial transformation may be walking on two legs, learning from the world around it, and preparing to work in factories, warehouses, homes, even space. In today's video, we're diving into the most advanced humanoid robots being built right now in the United States. These aren't concept models or pipe dreams. These are the real deal, from Tesla's rapidly evolving Optimus, to Boston Dynamics' ultra-agile Atlas, to the rising stars like Figure 02 and Apollo from Aptronic. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's the next step in the future of work, and the race is officially on. Tesla Optimus, Elon Musk's moonshot for the labor economy. Let's start with perhaps the most ambitious project of them all, Tesla Optimus. If Elon Musk is right, we're not just witnessing the birth of a new product category. We're watching the start of a civilization scale shift. In a recent interview on X, Musk boldly claimed that humanoid robots will become the biggest product in history. He envisions a world where robots outnumber humans 5 to 1, with up to 30 billion autonomous machines operating across every continent. That vision hinges on the success of Optimus. Originally unveiled in 2021 as the Tesla bot, Optimus has since undergone several design iterations and internal upgrades. Powered by Tesla's AI4 chip, the same hardware used in full self-driving, Optimus is learning to navigate the physical world using neural networks and sensor fusion. But the big leap is still coming. Tesla plans to equip the commercial version with its AI5 chip, expected to enter production later this year. This next-gen chip will unlock higher-level task execution and more human-like decision-making. And Musk isn't playing small ball. His forecasting production numbers of 50,000 to 100,000 units in 2026 and a staggering 500,000 to 1 million units per year by 2027. Tesla is already planning to deploy 1,000 Optimus units on its own factory floors by late 2025. Analysts at Deutsche Bank project $10 billion in revenue from Optimus sales by 2035, assuming a selling price around $50,000. This is more than a side project. According to insiders, Musk has told executives that Tesla's future may not lie in vehicles at all, but in humanoid AI. Boston Dynamics Atlas from DARPA to the assembly line. Next up, Atlas. If Optimus is about scale and cost efficiency, Atlas is about pure capability. Developed by Boston Dynamics, Atlas is arguably the most advanced humanoid robot in terms of physical agility and real-world dexterity. Atlas was first developed in 2013 for DARPA, with the goal of building a robot that could assist in search and rescue missions. It started out bulky and loud, powered by hydraulics and tethered to external gear. But even back then, it could walk uneven terrain, open doors, and operate tools. By 2016, Atlas became battery-powered and began showcasing backflips, park hour, and dance routines. It looked more like a gymnast than a worker, but that was exactly the point. Boston Dynamics wanted to push the boundaries of motion and balance. Fast forward to April 2024, and the company officially retired the hydraulic atlas to make way for a new, all-electric version. This new electric atlas isn't just a flex of engineering, it's built for deployment. It's quieter, stronger, and smarter. With new gripper systems and multi-joint articulation, it's designed to work in environments like Hyundai's automotive manufacturing facilities. And thanks to Boston Dynamics' integration with NVIDIA's Jetson Thor AI platform, Atlas now runs advanced multimodal models. That means it can see, learn, and adapt to new environments autonomously. It's not just a robot that moves, it understands the world around it. Figure 02, Brett Adcock's big bet on general-purpose robotics. While Tesla and Boston Dynamics dominate headlines, one of the most quietly impressive efforts in humanoid robotics is coming out of a startup called Figure AI, founded by Brett Adcock. 
Figure is building what it calls the first commercially viable general-purpose humanoid robot, the Figure 02. At first glance, Figure 02 might seem like a middle ground between Optimus and Atlas. It walks smoothly, handles tools, and lifts objects, all with a form factor and price point optimized for warehouse and logistics environments. But the secret source is what's under the hood. Figure is combining cutting-edge motion control, computer vision, and deep reinforcement learning to enable intuitive, human-like interaction with the physical world. Unlike Tesla, which can tap into its manufacturing empire, Figure is building from the ground up. That means weekly design sprints, in-house hardware iteration, and relentless tuning of every actuator and joint. And while Figure is still in early stages, they've already shown Figure 02 walking unaided, performing pick-and-place tasks, and even handling eggs without cracking them. The hardware is impressive, but the vision is even bigger. Figure's goal is to create a robot that can do any physical task a human can, from stocking shelves to flipping burgers. That's not a toy. That's a labor revolution. Aptronic Apollo, NASA roots meet commercial reality. Not to be overlooked, Aptronic's Apollo is another serious contender. Developed in by Aptronic whose team had done work with NASA, Apollo was built from the start with a clear goal, real-world usefulness. Apollo is sleek, modular, and lightweight. Standing 6 feet tall and weighing around 160 pounds, it can operate for up to 4 hours on swappable batteries, crucial for real industrial environments. Aptronic designed Apollo to be safe around humans, making it ideal for logistics, warehousing, and fulfillment centers. But its modular design also leaves room for expansion. Want to upgrade the limbs? Swap out the battery pack? Add specialized software? It's all possible. While Atlas shows off Parkour and Optimus aims for mass affordability, Apollo focuses on deployment readiness. The company is already working with logistics partners and testing Apollo in warehouse environments. And with its NASA pedigree, you can bet that Aptronic is thinking long-term. Apollo might be lifting boxes today, but it could be fixing satellites tomorrow. So, who's leading the pack? This isn't just a competition of cool videos. It's a race with real economic and societal consequences. Tesla Optimus is building for scale, banking on mass production and cost-effective general labor. Boston Dynamics Atlas is the most physically capable, targeting precision industrial tasks. Figure 02 is building a flexible platform for general-purpose labor, blending mobility with affordability. Apollo focuses on safety and modularity, aiming to become the iPhone of robots in the logistics world. Each has a different strength, and each is betting on a different version of the future. Beyond the robots, the big questions. What happens when humanoid robots become cheaper than hiring human workers? What happens to employment, policy, and ethics when machines can do everything from lifting boxes to caring for the elderly? We're not there yet, but we're closer than you think. Musk believes humanoid robots will outnumber humans. Brett Adcock says building these machines is the most important mission of his life. Boston Dynamics is already deploying theirs in real factories. And Aptronic is preparing for global scale. The machines are coming, but the choices we make now will determine whether they become tools of empowerment or instruments of disruption. What do you think? Which humanoid robot excites you the most? Do you think Optimus will dominate the market, or will Atlas maintain its edge? Will startups like Figure and Aptronic disrupt the giants, or get acquired along the way? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into America's humanoid robots, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.